I'm Barley Roscoe. I'm the former director of the Hoban Museum and Craft Study Centre. I was involved with the Craft Study Centre almost from its inception, not quite as early as Bill. He was receiving correspondence from them from as early as 1972. I met him probably in the late 1970s when he first visited the Craft Study Centre at, at Bath. Um, and it wasn't really until the following decade, or early 80s, that I actually went to his own house. Well, he was uh, a wonderfully benign presence. I mean, I think the thing that really sums him up is to call him a dear, because that was uh, the sort of overall impression that he gave. I mean, physically, he was shortish, he was smaller than me, I'm, I'm tall, I'm five foot ten. Um, he was quite roundy, I mean, you wouldn't say fat, but equally he wasn't, um, you know, a little pin figure, and he had, uh, he was bearded, but it was really the accoutrements that he had with him that one thought of almost as, as part of him. So I very, very seldom saw him without his famous beret, which I'm sure everybody is going to refer to. And he very often, whatever the weather, seemed to be wearing a, a grey belted gabardine style Mac. And then he also, from one of the many pockets within Mac or jacket or whatever it was, had an enormous magnifying glass that would be pulled out and used to inspect you know, if he, if he couldn't read a label because the type was too small or he particularly wanted to look at the mark on a pot or whatever it might be, um, out would come the magnifying glass and it would be very, a sort of Mr. Clouseau sort of inspection would, would then ensue. These are two pieces by Catherine Pleddle Bouvery, um, who was in fact, one of the very first people that Bill began collecting. And I just love seeing these again. And I say again because the reason that I chose these was not only because I feel they're rather like Bill himself. And, you know, if Bill was a pot, he would probably be a Catherine Pleddle Bouvery pot. Functional and unassuming and no nonsense and and very dear actually i was trying to remember the year the exact year and time when i i went to wakefield to meet meet him at his house and i've concluded that it must have been actually when i was returning the pots that he had lent for the catherine Pleddle Bouvery exhibition which the study centre put on. This was a big retrospective from 1980 to 81. So I think it was in 81 that I went and delivered the pots back to him. And I remember arriving and I stopped in front of number 14 or near number 14, got out and had a look and I thought this can't be the right address. Um, I mean the house looked completely shut up uh, or certainly not as if somebody was behind the sort of half-drawn curtains and the certainly unwashed windows. And I thought, this can't be right. And I checked the number. I thought, well, I'll have a look from the back and see if anything, it looked rather <laughs> rather worse. And the, the grass hadn't been, I mean, there was a sort of meadow out the back. I seem to remember high, high grass and, you know, curtains again at the window. Anyway. I thought, well, it must be right. I better, I better pluck up courage and knock on the door. So I knocked on the door, and sure enough, uh, it was opened, and there was Bill smiling welcome. And it was a tiny house. I mean, it was really two up, two down, and there was hardly any room to get into the house because it was a passageway, hallway, and it was piled high with boxes and labelled from all over, um, almost all over the world, I was going to say, for the exhibitions that Bill had lent 
pots to. So I sort of squeezed past these and was ushered into the kitchen. And I have never seen so many pots in one kitchen in my life. Uh, it was absolutely packed. And the, there was a single light bulb um, hanging from the centre of the room over a rectangular table that was absolutely stuffed with pots. And it had a cloth on the, t on the table. You could just, just see the cloth between the pots. And then there was a, literally about one dinner plate's worth of space at one end of the table, which was clear, which, which evidently was where Bill ate. It was wonderful having this tour with him and, you know, he would just pass a few comments uh, about different pieces and the astonishment of seeing so many Hans Copers and Lucy Rees. It was, it was a really wonderful experience. I don't think there is another single person who spent so many years of their life travelling so widely within Britain and making such a fabulous collection. I mean, that will actually be his legacy um, for many, many people.